right, let's pick up our maxed out vampire king. Okay, reduce the cost of faction spells by seventy five percent. Holy crap! That is impressive. Impressive, impressive, impressive. But is it really any good? Well, let me see. Increase the size of your system army, which is still utterly worthless. Is it just me, or do my assist? Does my assistant count go down with the Vampire King? Okay. Hmm. All right, because my max man is being boosted. And then, when you've got this much, maybe the. <sighs> You're so cool, though. I made the wrong choice. Skeleton King, I have little hope for you, but maybe, just maybe, your final ability will be so great, will be so incredible, that you'll outdo the other two. You have two days to get your act together. Uh, you're so cool, though. Getting bloodlines and Stuff like that. <sighs> yeah, no, I just don't know what to say. I mean, if this fellow was handing me the dragon bloodline, it'd be a whole different ball game. Well, I made some alterations, but as we can see, this build is not going to take me to uh, Reincarnation 100. This build is not right. It's just not there yet. Mm, I'm going to have to make another one. Anyway. So, we got little horns. Oh, hey, good. Triple your offline production. Faction coins, clicks, mana, spells, cast in spell activity time. Triple spell activity time while offline. Holy crap. That's actually freaking amazing. I wish that had been the first thing I unlocked. I wouldn't have had to spend my rubies. Triple. Two days I could have unlocked. Oh my gosh. I mean, now it's like 20. There's not enough time left for that to matter. Oh man. You are useful. Anyway, one of the nice things about this build is since it doesn't use undead, the um, well, I mean, it's, it's the vampires, which are just another type of undead. Uh, here, watch how much the vampires boosting my assistance. It's pretty good. It boosts it by almost a third. Um, if I had the undead in play, that wouldn't matter at all, but. It actually makes the vampire much more useful than the ghost to me in this build. If I go back to using undead, then the ghost will become better again. Anyway, ugh, it's just not there. It's just not there. This is going to get all used up, and I'm going to be, be reincarnation shy.
Well, it actually takes a lot of time of uh, importing, exporting, and to try each of these things in turn and to figure out which ones are currently optimal. I mean, if there's a bunch of them that are obviously stupid, but, uh, you know, anything that's like, you gain a hundred assistance is obviously stupid, and we can eliminate that. But, uh, there's so many options that are possible. I think I've fine-tuned it as far as I can. I think I've fine-tuned this as far as I'm able to on my own. Either I give up and go and try to make new builds, so many lineages, so many options, <laughs> or perhaps I just ask the wiki, hey, what's a good build to get those last couple reincarnations so I can ascend? We might just be at that point. Oh no. Anyway, this will nudge me over this one. Uh, probably in a few hours, I'll have it. Then I'll... Uh, oh, right. Uh, pfft, somebody t gave me this wonderful hint. You turn off overflowing mana, and your spell durations become crap. Which, since this gets better every single casting... Uh, it gives you more assistance each time you cast it. Diminishing returns, admittedly. I remember when it was 18 per casting, and, you know, now it's, you know, then it was 15 per casting, now it's 2 per casting. But still, it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh, another great trick. Oh, Deep Mind's right there. Well, I reach over here, oh no, I reach over here. Turn it on. Boop. Turn it off. Ha, 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 ha. Now we've got four minutes of the deep mine. Much better. But you can do more than that. So every single time, if you if you have the autocast set to six, it'll just grab the next one, which in this case would next be Ancient Pyramid after this. But, I'm not going to wait three minutes to explain this, but basically if you go, if, you, if I were to be clicking it, going up one level at a time, it would go Ancient Pyramid in Deep Mine, you know, as it goes to your one, two, three, four, five, six, it will tick that up each time. Uh, so you wait until it's right before Deep Mine, and then you turn it on so that it auto casts the rest all in one go. I don't know if that made sense, but it's super intuitive once you know what that what what once you interpret my ramblings. It makes super sense and it's super easy and it lets you basically jump five, skip five uh, up to five um, wrong buildings. And sometimes there can be as many as twenty wrong buildings in a row, or well, at least it feels that way. Anyway, um, very, very good trick. So we're, we're almost there. We're almost there. Um, mm, I just don't know what I'm going to do for another build. Have I, have I taken this completely in the wrong direction somehow? Actually, no. There were people in Discord who told me I got fairly close. Uh, they pointed out this one, which you know seems super obvious in retrospect. But uh, <laughs> once you once you're like, oh yeah, that's yeah, that's that's really 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 good. Yeah, why didn't I pick that one? Um, but yeah, no. Um, apparently, I'm super close to an actual uh, build that uh, people are using. One of the optimal builds. Which is weird, because I never get this stuff right. So, I don't know. Is that all? Oh, come on. Give me the last ones. There we go. Okay. Nothing else I can do to make this faster, except to 
select the mine myself. Okay. So, actually, I think one more lightning strike on the mine, if I make it extended like this, will do it. Hmm. Well, anyway. That's where we stand. And, uh... I just don't really want to see this tick up for another four minutes. I'm all like, come on, come on, faster, faster. I have no rubies left. Man. Or I could have just used this and it would have been tripled. Or this one. This one would have been enough. Ah. Skeleton. You might be the most useful of them all. You no, know, you don't have the power of the others. But you're you're ridiculous. You're good. You're real good. Okay. I will show what I was saying. So you see the next one's an ancient pyramid? Okay, come on, come on, come on. Come on, five seconds. Pass faster. Faster! I need the ability to manipulate time, or at least I need it to work on a computer. Okay, boop. Boop. Deep mines up next. Boop. Oh. But I forgot to turn that on, so I only get like 18 seconds, so it's kind of stupid of me. But anyway, you get what I'm saying. Ah, useful, useful tricks. So it's pretty obvious to me at this point that my build is not going to be taking me any further. Um, as it is just inching upward. I mean, okay, it's possible I could get past this reincarnation in this build. It'd be a pain, but I could do it. But I'm not going to get to 100. So I had been told when I made my last video that my build was almost identical to one of the... Uh, one of the major builds. So I went ahead and went to the wiki and figured out which build it was. I looked at the different ones. At first I thought it might be Thor, except that that one's running God's hand and is is, is, is not quite the same. You know, I mean, I think I think it's closest to this one called Ragnarok because this one also runs the uh, Grand Balance, Titan Dragon Neutral. Um, I'm almost, I think I'm the same on all of these. I looked them over. Um, let me see. One, two. Evolutive mutation. I don't think I have that one, though. I don't have that one. So, almost the same. I made almost the same picks on those. And then over here, when we get into the... Um, when we get into the uh, researches, you start to see a lot of differences. I mean, my my spellcraft is exactly the same. i got to find a better way to put these. How am I going to do this? Hold on. Hold on. I can figure this out. Probably. All right. What I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to be like, put this over here. No. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, fork. What I need to do is I'm going to put this here, and then what I can do is I can just create a new window for, let me see, what's this called? Okay, this might take me a moment. Uh, uh, doggone it. Good enough. You can see what you need to see from here. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, this is a little ugly. Sorry. Okay, so as we can see, identical, 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 perfectly 100% the same. If we go to craftsmanship and we notice right away, they recommend, they, they use 300. 
And I run this one. I can't imagine this is better than this. I mean, I've tested by saving and loading some of these, but I'm sure I made mistakes somehow anyway. Divine, we can see I'm I'm not running 55. I'm not running, um, let me see. What else am I not running? It's strange, I swear I have more picks than they do. No, I don't, I'm crazy. No, I'm running this. I'm running a mana boost instead of a 300% boost. The 300% boost is definitely better. I can see that clearly. Um, I think it was during my scaling everything up, I needed more mana regen when I had less gems. I think that's what that had been. Not sure. Anyway, that one can go. Um, I'm going to try... Actually, here's another one that I hit dead on. Perfect, I guess. Let's see. Uh, up, I'm running 105 instead of 1500. Increase max mana, but my mana regen doesn't match my max mana. Why would I want a higher maximum mana? This one perplexes me. This one's kind of weird. And we have Warfare. 260, 400. Looks like that one's dead on. And we have some alternates. I could be running E480. Let's see. Replace, let's see, 1500. Actually, hey! I am on on that one. Oh, wait, no, replace this one. Oh, well, never mind. And you might potentially take this one, huh? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna follow this recipe and we're gonna see if that works better than what I'm doing now. And I'm also going to try just playing with their other recipes. Now, unfortunately, um, I guess you can't quite quite see all that I can see. Unfortunately, as you can see, um, there's only four builds here. And then there's a pile of special builds. Hmm. This says two days for Mana Ocean. That's a pretty good achievement to pick up. That one's a pain in the butt. Each of these, I wish they'd say what they did. Okay, they say what they do down there. Okay. Blue conspiracy. Sorry for my lack of familiarity with how this uh, how this works. Um, I did notice that something was out of place though. This this is a two. This goes in the two category. This eternal wisdom goes in the one category. And even a novice like me can point and see your mistake. Ah! Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to follow this recipe, and let's do that real quick. So, first off, Titan. Okay, neutral, Mercs. So, we want... Dragon's Breath and Grand Balance. And as much as I just want to load my own template, <laughs> I know that there's one difference here. So we will very quickly evolutive mastery. Huh? Really? That? Really? Hmm. Well, I think that they're doing it because they have they're using less um, less researches that boost faction coins. I think I had one more than they do. Everything else should be identical, so I can just do that. Oops. We'll just ram up all of these super quick. And these. Okay. So. This category was identical. Let me see. Let's start with... See, oh, 1500. Hmm. 
Okay, no, they're, they are recommending that. Okay, so let's go ahead. That one was correct. Uh, it's a different one I need to replace. 400 goes out. Right. Less faction coins because... Okay. 300... I, I can't has. I can't has 300. Why can I not has 300? Okay, fine, whatever. Uh, 340, 400, 590, 1300, 3000. Oh shit, what have I done? I picked this up again. I needed... I really don't know that this is that great, but I've already ruined the formula. Okay. Sorry. I'll get it right this time, I swear. No more stupid mistakes. Okay. Okay, so the only difference is we're running evolutive mutation. That's all. Otherwise, it's all the obvious picks. All my favorite picks. Okay. Now, let's try this again. All right, well, all right, you know what? We'll just start over here. I was just going to load my template once I got the ones that had different picks to save time, but I don't think it's going to actually save me any time anymore. Okay. There. Do I have enough of this? No, I don't. Okay, whatever. Ah, uh, craftsmanship. Okay, 340. Do not choose 400. Okay, it's fine. 590. 1300. 3000. Also has that. You can grab that. I should be able to buy almost anything. Ah, still out of reach. It won't be by the time I get to it. Okay, 25, 55, 245, 3. This better be better. All right, we need. That will fill in the details. Uh, still don't have my lightning bolts. Okay, let me see. Where was I? You there. 300. Okay, divine. 55, 245, 260, 320, 1, 2, Okay. Economics. No alternates on economics, so I can assume that this is all correct. 400. What did I just do? Why did I just click that? What am I doing? Oh my gosh! Oh, what is wrong with me? Where did I get 400 from? What did I look at that I saw 400? I don't even know. All right, all right, all right, all right. hold on. Okay, so I found that I'm kind of embarrassingly bad at following simple directions. But I got everything in its place. Oops. Let's see. Okay. Hold on. So our target needs to be... Okay, I can put that away. Our Target needs to be the deep mine as before. Yes, okay, because it's pretty much the same build, only this is theoretically optimized. So, what I need to do is I need to cheat, because you guys don't want to wait around for however many minutes. Okay. Another way you can, you can do this is to just turn off uh, this so that the lightning strikes are faster. We'll just do that. 
that way you wouldn't have to export an import you could just wait 18 seconds and then or 20 seconds and then scroll through again which you know uh, I wasn't making a video I just do that every time we'll see if we can just get through it hmm even with a lightning bolt on it, the monastery is meaningless. Oh, come on, game. What? Uh-oh. It's not control v -ing. Export. At this point, it doesn't even matter, but... There we go. Do, 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 do. Export. Import. <laughs> What in the world is going on? Ack. Okay, game's behaving a little weird. I wasn't holding any key down on the keyboard until that last second. Okay, there we go. Normal. <gasps> there you are, my deep mine. At last. Okay, we can turn you back on. Okay, let's see how much better this is. This will last for like four minutes, so we will have plenty of time to run amok, clicking on all sorts of things. Okay. Hmm. Did I do something wrong? This is the recipe. I got the evolutive mutation. I've got, I don't know, your picks. Right, if I paid a little more attention to placement, I could have probably got this to be slightly better, but not really orders of magnitude better. Uh, I'm going to let this sit for, I don't know, an hour, and we'll see where we're at. But, um, unless there's something I don't know, and there's probably something I don't know about this, but we'll see. We'll see what it looks like in an hour. If I haven't made progress, or if, if I'm not at least close to this number by then, well, we might try one of these. What are our other options? Well, we have three. Thor that calls for God's hand. It's, I swear, the exact same build, just with a different spell. Even the picks look like they're all the same to me, but there's probably a subtle difference in there somewhere if I look close. But I think it's just the same build, honestly. Terror from the deep. Now, someone on Discord sent me one that's supposed to be able to get, uh, when reincarnating, what I was wanting to do, I was wanting to reincarnate so I could try this one build somebody shared with me. It was, um, uh, here it is. To get your uh, grand balance built up usually takes me some hours, and it's supposed to be able to hit grand balance. 11 within 40 minutes and 11 I don't know why there's a grand balance plus 13 cuz there's no additional targets to hit but uh anyway that sounds really good I wanted to test that um, let's see terror from the deep druid hmm I miss my druid bloodline. That makes so sense. Nighttime, really, as your spell? Not, not dragon. Oh, you get dragon breath from this. So, really, nighttime though. This is a very different build. It's got multiple angelic things in it. Actually, it's a very similar build. This could be interesting. And the last one is another evil dragon druid, but instead it uses brainwave, which I can see a little bit more. And different angel things. Oh, economics 10. Hmm. 
So we have options here. Presumably, I'll look at all this, all this, this stuff too. I don't know if I need any of that, but um, presumably one of these will take us where we need to go. Take us to the new ascension. But I have my doubts that it'll be this one. <laughs> we shall see. Well, the output of this build is surprisingly disappointing. We are going to try to, I just bought everything again, spent all my money. We're going to try one more lightning strike. Ah, thought I turned you off. We'll try one more lightning strike, but this is after it's been running for like an hour or so. Why, why are you doing that? Sometimes it just wants to, wants to toggle that on and off for some reason. I don't even use Silver Autocast anymore. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, come on, give it to me. Okay. Thump. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm. This is not there. This build is not it. So, I mean, this was a fine build, I guess. If you were heading up this way, it would have probably gotten you about as far as what my variant was. Well, not really. Yeah, as far as mine did. But, uh, more or less. But it's just not going to do. So, I'm going to take Packer Ultra. And I'm going to see how this does. I'm going to punch all this in. And then I'm going to start recording again. And we're going to see where we end up. So... Let me see. Evil Dragon Druid. Dragon Evil. Eh, we'll get to the Druid. All right. Here we go. Okay, I've let my brainwave build up a little bit. Everything is set. Hmm, wish that was larger. We are now engaging this at full power. What do we get? The, the full power. This is um. This is not working. Something is not right. What is not right? I've got you all the way up. Maybe, maybe I need a build. That'll build up my max mana since that's the key to what the the uh, spell durations. This one was built all around spell durations. I bet with an obscene mana build, I could, or an obscene spell casting build, I could build this up. Although I feel like I'm already in an obscene spell casting build. I feel like this build should be effective. <sighs> Followed the recipe, but doggone it, this is not it either. What is wrong? Well, we have a couple of different ways we can approach this. I could attempt Terror of the Deep. But I don't think it's going to make that big a difference. I just don't think it's going to make that big a difference. Swapping out uh, Brainwave with Nighttime and some of the stuff around. I don't know. Alright. 
Well, I'm going to save this. I'm going to put this on hold as just evil for the moment. I mean, I guess I should have named it Packer Ultra out of respect to, um, there's no signature on it. Oh, there we go. Art Crow, but, uh, so let's just be evil for now. Okay, so I'm going to attempt, definitely got to be an evil build so I can get these. Let's see. I want to maximize the spell casting so that I can boost up this. I don't know. So it's got to be evil if it's going to work. Ghost taxes, the future might be obsolete, it says. Lazy Rider, Blue Conspiracy, Eldritch Corruption. Which one of these is the correct build? Well, let's start with Lazy Rider. Very chanting, yes. Some time to reach mana waste. Six to nine days. No, there's a trophy unlocker. Not quite what I'm looking for. Blue Conspiracy. Yep, yep, mana boost, mana boost, definitely. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. S50, yeah. Eight to eleven days to unlock spell master. That's a long time. Hmm. Still, this is definitely one that focuses on spell casting. And what are you? Estimated time, question days. Okay, these are all geared towards the same trophy. Okay. What about you? Shadow government. Another question days. Uh, mm, we don't have a lot of data on this stuff, do we? Okay, so if my goal is to boost... Holy crap, it's already boosting. Um... Never mind, this build's fine. I don't, I don't need to alternate, do I? I mean, maybe I do. Yeah, I didn't do an evil run before. How much better could one of these be? Well, they are running Angel Feathers and Archangel Feathers, so that's already better. Hmm. Maybe. I mean, as we're already looking, uh, it's kind of jittering back and forth between different numbers. But, uh,. I just leave this running as is. How far will it climb? Better yet, thanks to the Druid Bloodline, the higher the max mana gets, the faster the mana regeneration gets, the more spells it can cast. Although the mana regen already exceeds max mana, but still. This, this could be a slow build up. It's not there yet, but this could do it. I have two ways about this. I could try to build something that will raise that max mana faster. Or I could leave it on this. Let's see. Do you have any notes? Not really. Which one of you lot is the fastest? I don't really want the Spell Mastery Trophy at the moment. I don't really want to spend nine days on it. I want to reincarnate. 
but it looks to me so little data well, let's go with let's go with this one lazy rider because at least that one has an estimate to how long it'll be the others don't I know that's a stupid reason to pick one but what do you want I have no way of judging which one's the best so I'm going to run this I want to try something wait a minute I think I remember a trick hold on there's a thing. Okay, let me see. I need Fairy Chanting, Dragon Breath, Faceless Bloodline? Hmm. Faceless Bloodline. Oh, yeah. That would make sense. And then the Dragon Bloodline, not the Druid? Are you, you sure, Lazy Rider? What do you guys think? You think Dragon and Elf? Faceless Dragon, Dragon Elf. Oh, all these builds are calling for... Oh, sorry, I guess you guys couldn't see it. I hope that... All right, let me see. Uh, you know what? All right, let me think. Okay, so we want Faceless. We're going to go Dragon. We're going to go Evil. So the trick I want to try is this. What if I feed you? Holy crap, it worked, mostly. So, in that case... Oh my gosh, this is so much easier. There aren't any alternates to replace anything, so I don't even have to... I can just be... Whoa, yeah! <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, hmm. Let me try feeding it that template another time. Get these geared up. Here you go. Wow. Uh, dead fields. Boop, boop. Okay. Got enough yet? Don't got enough yet. That's a hurt. I can just do this a few times. Okay, what was the other one? Dragon? Dragon. You sure dragon and not druid? We're just going for pure spell casting, right? Why would I want this? What use would I have for it? I mean... Far be it for me to think I know better than somebody who designed this, but wouldn't Druid make more sense? There we go. Okay, increases maximum mana by a shit ton. It increases mana per second based on the amount of assistance you... Okay, that's why I do not need Druid. Because, holy crap, this does the job. Alright. Increases assistant production by a lot. Hmm. Yeah, I can see how this is better than the undead bloodline for this task. But what good is the dragon bloodline? It'll boost my goblin banks. More goblin banks will mean more spells per click. Okay, that's why. Okay, I understand how this all comes together now. In theory, we're spell casting faster now than what I was doing a minute ago with my um, other build, or the other build I took off of the wiki. So in theory, I mean, I'm tripling this, and then I'm using, hmm,
Okay. Well, it'll just keep ticking up. This will last for five hours. Wow. Building up the entire time. So, um... Yeah, I think... Whoops, don't push that. I think this build takes about five hours to really do its thing. But once it gets there, once it gets through one five-hour cycle, this that should boost this absurdly, I think. And then I can go back to the evil build and see if that worked. If not, I believe that my Thundering Echoes uses this anyway. So I might be able to even boost my uh, neutral build I was doing. This just boosting capacity m might be what I need. If not, I'm going to have to look at all these builds again and think about this again. Maybe maybe consult with someone who's an expert. Boy, I have a lot of... I have an assistant I don't have. Hmm. Also, I hear we have another event coming up uh, between now and Christmas. I assume it must be a Thanksgiving event. Um... There's also going to be some patches relating to Ascension 2, which sound awesome. Uh, hopefully I can get there before they arrive. Yeah, I can definitely get there before they arrive. Uh, how long does it take till this starts ticking? Come on. Anyway. So, this build is amazing, and I was going to cut it off a lot earlier... Um, but I let it keep building, and thereby building my assistant level, because I thought I may as well get this, and then it was like, well, I may as well get the last of this, so... Arcane Brilliant 6. When I unlock the new tier of spells, it'll be so easy to unlock them. Also, this, which, um... Oh, man, I'm not going to wait that long for this to fill out, but... I mean, I'm already 10% of the way there. No, 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 not, not going to do it. So, I mean, it's five mana regen, I mean, you know, and two trophies, and, you know, it's... Yeah, okay, it wasn't that big a deal. But I did it anyway. <laughs> Our done did it anyway. Uh, question... 2%? Man. Well, admittedly, the undead could make that way bigger. Uh, and that's only 6%. Anyway. Okay. Now. With all of this, we should, if I switch back... Out of curiosity, only plus 3 every second now, every tick. Diminishing returns. Uh, some part of me really wants to wait until it's a million, but that's a really stupid idea. There's no reason to, but I just... Ah, some little perfectionist part in me is like, You're so close. Don't do it now. Don't reset. No, you abdicated. Why did you do that? Okay. So... Right. It was evil. Right, 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 right. I think. Sorry, it has been a couple of days, and I'm trying to remember what I named this. Okay, give me that. I sure hope it's evil. Pretty, pretty sure, pretty sure. You guys just saw me name it, like, what, a couple minutes ago? But for me, you know, time. It flows, and it... Oh, come on, give me the... Give me it. Ah! Well, look, I know it's undead... Oh. I already have dead fields. The heck is this supposed to be? Ah, boy, I suddenly have to make a decision... How did he end up with dead fields? How'd that happen? Ah, uh, you know, this one's always good. No, wait, I'm going to have the one thing. 
I'll figure you out in a minute. Evil. Evil. Yeah, I'm already getting 30 of those, so why would I need... Alright. Boom. Kaboom. Ah. Uh, was it Druid? I don't know. I'm going to have to look this up. I may have made wrong picks. You know what? I should just go back to my neutral build. That one with this ridiculous mana boost should be good enough. Yeah, that maximum mana boost. It actually kind of combos with the druids. And then this... Fool's Gold. Faction coin chance based on the amount of goblin banks. I don't know. I could get a nice, cool 70% boost. Increase Hall of Legends. Uh, that's not what's producing. It's Tyrant Garrison that's producing. Okay. Um... You know what? I'm pretty sure I've botched this in some way. I'll just take that for the moment. Because I'm not even close. So something must be seriously wrong. Seriously out of whack right now. Hmm. Way, way off. Okay. We'll just go to the old and familiar. Titans plus neutral plus thundering echoes thundering echoes then the same here bing okay need a tiny bit more two three four five and that'll do And that's everything is online. All systems are nominal. We grab that. We grab dragon. Okay, hold on. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, uh, get that up there. Now all I need is a deep mind strike. Which should be fairly easy to dig up, as we already have the method. Crunch. 124. I mean, I know this needs to run a little bit, but shouldn't it be closer than that? Hmm. How much does the maximum mana really benefit this build? It doesn't, because this build doesn't call that one. Of course not. Why would it? Aside from this. Okay, then, I just have to sort out what's wrong with my evil build. Something is out of whack, and I will be back when I have that figured out. Well, that worked. That worked quite well. Once I, uh, let's get all of those. Once I figured out the uh, evil one and set it a little bit better. Ah, just saving and loading the template's not going to work for it. Uh, specifically the Dead Fields one. It would pick that over. I'm not even sure which one. But basically all I did was I reset the thing and I just clicked Dead Fields manually. I, yeah, I'll show you what I mean. So what I did was... Wait, no, fork. <laughs> okay, what I did was I went... And made it so that... Oh, come on. There. Oh, come on. Not enough faction coins. Makes it difficult for me to make my point. Uh, 
Okay, now I'm confused. <clears throat> I might have screwed my template up. I did. <sighs> anyway, the idea was that it would buy this and all of these, and it would leave me just to manually make the last pick. But apparently I screwed up. Huh. But it doesn't really matter. We're ready to reincarnate, and I can sort that out later. So, now that I understand this added fold... Nope, 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 by all. I miss clicking left and right this morning. That's okay. Alright, so... This is without even a single gem. I can get over a thousand buildings without a gem. It's absurd. It's ridiculous. Like, good grief. And there we go. I have too many of these. I should pull a few of them out. Anyway, so from here, I wonder. Wow. Wow. Okay, so that's I can already get this far without uh without even a single gem to my name. Further, in fact, if I pick up all of this Anyway. Um so I'm gonna try to continue climbing. I suppose I have to run a booster for this each time. And I don't think I actually saved my booster. Let's see, I don't need this. I need... Was it you? It's either this or I don't have it. I think it might be this. Mm. Okay then. Well. Continuing. Okay, so <clears throat> not only have I powered up my uh, capacity by a whole bunch, but even managed to time it such that I gained gems while I was doing it. Quite a lot of gems, actually. Three orders of magnitude. I think I timed that pretty well. Okay. So it's now time for Dragon Druid Evil, which is load template evil. I should probably delete a couple of these. I have too many right now. I have unnecessary extras. Give me that. Load that. Come on, give it, give it up. Okay. Load evil. Go. Uh oh. Let me see. I have an extra pick, and I don't know. Oh wait, it's chromatic scales. Oh okay, right. Okay, never mind. Right, cause you gotta get the dragon to, yeah, okay. That's fine. I know what it is now. Can we, can we get it? Is this a tipping point? Doot, doot. Okay. Mm, still not there. How about now? 
And there's the chromatic scales. Done and done. Oops, no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. So, that's everything. Hmm. Uh, we're going to make our use of capacity, and looks like we've already just about caught up to my current gem total. So I think we can get, uh, I think by the time I wake up in the morning, I'll have upped quite a few orders of magnitude closer. I'm not 100% sure that this will get me all the way up to the top with just this build. But it should bring me close. Also, apparently, um, there's another uh, event coming on any day now. I don't know exactly when. Well, actually, I can't say any day now. I'm not sure exactly when it comes out. But they have announced they're working on a new event. I assume it must be a Thanksgiving event. And, uh... Should be due any time now. One assumes that the uh, that the undead will only want the turkey's brains. Beyond that, I have no idea what what to expect. Anyway, looks like we did quite well for the night. In fact, if I can jump, if I could jump this many orders of magnitude a couple more times, I'd be there. Though it's never quite that easy, is it? <clears throat> anyway, might as well pump this up a little bit, grab the rest, and reset again. Hmm. I might, if this makes it, I won't have to, but I keep wondering if I'm going to get stuck right at R99. I keep worrying about it, but, uh, I don't know. This is already, given the, uh, assuming that I do the, uh, capacity increase, this is already better than the, uh, best I was able to come up with. So, I don't know. My thoughts are, let me go ahead and hit that. <clears throat> Uh, oh wait, I need to do this. Right, of course. Get the researchers in there. My thoughts are that the next, when I hit R99, based on what it looks like at the end of this run, I'll decide if maybe I need to wait longer on the capacity. I might let the capacity build up twice. Oh, it'd take forever. I might let the capacity build up to a way higher number, <clears throat> depending on what I see. Maybe not twice this, but, you know, a lot. There we go. Everything is in its place. We got ourselves our druids. That should give me here. Let me grab uh, dead fields. Come on. We're casting like a billion tax collections right now. <clears throat> right? Right? Yeah. It's got to be good enough. There we go. And chromatic scales. The only thing that uh, I don't like about this build, and it's a tiny nitpick, it just annoys me, is uh, how when you get everything in order, it's, 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 it's that it takes a while. That it takes a while to get up to uh, speed. And that's just because of how reap interests and such work. Just, just that's just how the build works. I mean, this is a 39-hour brainwave. I mean, good grief! You could leave this running for, for a day and a half, more than a day and a half. You could leave this running for almost two days. 
before the brainwave would reach full power. Which is the other side of the equation? <clears throat> I might find myself at Reincarnation 99 leaving this running for an extended period of time. Yeah, definitely want that max capacity just a bit higher. By bit, I mean twice this number. Mm. Take full effect. Mm. On the other hand, I could also try to go for some trophies, but I don't really want to. But I could. I could go for these. It would just take me like a week <laughs> or something. I don't know. I'm actually not sure how long exactly it would take me if I found an optimal build. Mm. Grand balance plus 16. Well, <clears throat> good to know all 16 of my buildings. Oh, wait a minute. Seriously, that's absurd. Remember... Remember way back when the bat, when this first became available and I was like, oh my gosh, this will be so great. And it took like forever to get to plus 11. And now I'm just like, yeah, plus 16, you know, it's, it's good. We need, we need to find a way to wedge more buildings in this. That should be the, the uh, Thanksgiving event. Should give us a new type of building. Turkey Hall. No, Turkey Farm. I don't know. All right. Well, this will take a while to get itself. Well, I mean, it's not even producing, like, all that much at all. It's going to take a while just to get rolling. Hopefully, though, hopefully it will take me to at least 130. And then it would take probably three or maybe four runs to climb that last bit. Last bit's always the hard part. So I have to make a judgment call here. I'm trying to decide if I should abdicate and start afresh. Accepting several orders of magnitude boosting and only needing two more. Or if I'm better off letting this continue to run. As the brainwave gets bigger and bigger and the illusion gets better and better, not to mention the reap interest here, you can literally see it ticking up in value. I'm gaining about 1% every 50 seconds right now. So... I... think... If I just wait longer, I think rather than abdicating, it might be faster to just let this run for another, I mean, it can go as long as 24 hours, still building up. But if it goes through 24 hours and then resets the brainwave, I'll suddenly be dead in the water. If, if I'm not there by then, I'll, I'll, I'll have... I'll have to regret this decision, but still, about every 50 seconds, 1% approximately. So, basically, every in 10 minutes, it would be a 50% increase. In theory, it would be. In theory, this should work. I should be able to just just let this keep rolling. This build, at first, when I first started using it, I was expecting faster results because all the builds that I've always made have always been fast results. I, I don't really... There might have been an exception maybe once or twice. I don't know. I'd have to go through all my old videos. But as a rule, everything I have, I've always been like very short-term gains actually not really slow long builds so having a long build like this it's 
kind of fascinating. It's a different way of approaching than I've been doing, though it makes perfect sense to build around bra Brainwave in this way. Um, and I don't know, it's, it's weird to me <laughs> to, to do it this way. But I do believe that this build can carry me all the way to Reincarnation 100 now. Before, I thought that it probably could because, you know, but now I actually see that, yes, it definitely can do that. There's a difference between actually seeing something and seeing how it all comes together and works, you know. Yeah. So my judgment call is, I mean... Everything in me just wants to go, no, 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 you've gained your four, abdicate, look, you can get the last two. At... But no, 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 I think, this w I think this will be faster unless I'm severely misjudging things. Well, you know, each of these castings lasts like eternity. Hmm, 1%, 3%. Except we've got, like, a crazy number of reap interests. I still kind of want to build around the good aligned one that stacks and doesn't doesn't cast this way. Such a different way of doing tax collection, but so far every attempt I've had to build around it has not worked. I have to think more about it, I suppose. Anyway, we'll know how this works. We'll know if this gamble worked off, or worked off, worked out. We'll know if this gamble worked out. I think it will. We'll see how much time is left on the clock when it does. I said stream instead of record. Free bonus fragment from the middle of a Realm Grinder video you all get to see early. I'm going to have to retrieve it off of YouTube and put it where it belongs, so congrats to anyone who managed to catch this before I caught it. Well, we've got it beat twice over with five hours left to spare on the brainwave. <clears throat> and it is still slowly ticking up. All right. At this point, yeah, we are good to go. Let's go ahead and, there it goes, 99. Next stop, Ascension. Your reincarnation power will gain a unique bonus. It will increase mana regeneration by 1% per reincarnation. Well, that's 100%. That'll be nice. Look at these nice round numbers, except for you. And you, your your ugly, ugly weird numbers. Look at your friends over here. Oh my gosh, more ugly weird numbers. Okay, maybe they aren't all nice and round, but some of them are. Okay. And when we get to research, every single research category will should be five thousand. So anyway. This is my last time, my last time to have a pre-ascension run. Well, pre-ascension two. My last time playing with diamond coins there. Let's see. Honestly, it's not really all that different from all the previous runs, but I need more. Oh, come on. How can you still be out of reach? Give me more. There it goes. Ho, ho, ho. Add some dragon's breath. Add some random, just, just random <laughs> bonuses. Because, eh, why not? Okay, well, we're done here. <laughs> that constitutes a run. Abdicate. And repeat. Rinse and repeat. The big runs, 
the biggest runs by far are the moment you start getting the uh, dragon here <clears throat> let me get all of this running Faceless Undead. My gosh, will Faceless Undead still be optimum after the Ascension? These. When these come online, that's always the high point where, like, your gems just... <clears throat> your gems just skyrocket all of a sudden. Up till then, you know, you, you, you're, gaining, you're gaining orders of magnitude, quite a lot of them, but at that moment, suddenly, it becomes just... Just a rocket taking off. No. I can't, can't reach that one still. Okay, fine. Be that way. See if I care. So, <clears throat> next stop, the end of the track. So I just started getting the uh, dragon ones and realized, oh wait, I should, I should totally record this. So. It just kind of seesaws between upgrading spells and then getting more of these and then upgrading more spells. Uh, I wish I'd recorded the first bit of it because <clears throat> I only had like one call to arms when the first one went off and then it like, well, you can see why this is the uh, big moment. Can I call it big moment? Yeah, I guess the big moment of this, <clears throat> of any run. And at this point, uh, yeah, 15 orders of magnitude at once. So from here on out, uh, yeah. Just, just, thought I'd, just thought I'd catch that moment since I never exactly get that moment again. Unless it's still there post-ascension, but I don't know, last ascension kind of, well, kind of kind of changed the game a lot. And I'm expecting this one to, uh, if not exactly change the rules, uh, certainly change what's optimum at presumably every point. See, now it's like you don't even need to, you got so many gems, you don't even need to, to spell tier up anymore. You can just get them all. <laughs> and then be all like, all right, boop. Oh, right. He didn't, didn't even didn't even have the undead running, <clears throat> and then I can spell tier up and get to higher spell tiers. Remember when excavations were precious? Now it's all like, uh, I got my dragon on. I might as well just womp. It's okay though. At this point, we're accelerating gems so fast, it doesn't matter. There'll always be more excavations on the next run. As long as you're careful not to end an abdication with them, then, then you'll get stuck. Briefly. All right, then. Well, I don't know. I hope 800,000 is enough. We've got a good amount of gems, but, uh... That's pretty much stagnated. I think maybe... I don't think there's anything else I need to do. Everything's in place. So... From here, it's climbing up to that ascension. So... I don't really want to jump into the slow builds yet. So let's see if we can get a little bit further on Thundering Echoes. Oops, don't need you set to 100s right now. <clears throat> Thundering Echoes with a nice boost to its max mana. It might help. I sure hope this is enough. I sure hope I didn't cut it out early. Hmm. Thundering echoes, thundering echoes. Add uh, dragon, dragon. Oh wait, one two three four, right? Four, five, one two three four five, one two three four five, six. And 
and deep mine. Yes, yes, I can. I can climb just a tiny bit higher, two orders of magnitude. We've got a minute left. The uh, problem with the evil build is that it takes a long time. It's great stuff, but, uh, you know, a 50 plus hour um, brainwave, you know, takes, takes, takes a bit of time. But I can skip on up with a handful of these. Actually, I don't think the max man is really helping much, but that's okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah, mana, uh, evil. Really, I don't have any other tricks. I guess this will just do. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just be climbing up a little bit more using Thundering Echoes. Once Thundering Echoes can't even climb a single uh, a, a single order of magnitude, that will be the moment that I switch to the evil build, which should not take too many runs, but being able to do a, uh, you know, two and a half minute run to get up, what would take, uh, you know, just, just, just seems, seems better than a slow build. Seems far superior. Also, uh, oh yeah, I'm not actually using the max mana. Never mind. That's stupid of me. I keep forgetting that. I was going to say there are things the max mana helps with. There are things that doing that long build boost, but if you're not even running it, I mean, I could swap one of you out. Maybe you? Mm, but why? Why, unless I wanted to run druids, which are straight up incompatible with this build. Okay. Anyway, that's what's up now. Okay, so this is about as far as we're going to go with this build. Pretty much. Pretty much satisfied that this is where we stop. Well, alright, fine. I'll get my last 25 seconds out of this. Grab a tiny bit more excavations. But yep. So from here, we switch to the slow build. Now, from what I was seeing last time, I'm wondering I might have the timing wrong. See, I'm I'm always wanting to do short dives. I don't like doing long ones, and I'm really uncertain if the way I've been handling this is correct. Or if, when using this build, I should let it run for the full two days every time. Also, there's some... Uh, I, I'm, I'm constantly second-guessing myself. I mean, as I've said, it's the first time I ever took one off of the uh, wiki like this. Um, so, its inner workings are just different from my usual approaches and way of thinking about this game. If that, if that makes any sense. If I have a way of thinking about this game. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, what we want to do... Boom. Go ahead and take the druid. Come on. Oh, come on. Pick up more. Right, no, of course not. That, that, there we go. Okay. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Oh, right. Chromatic scales. Build everything up another step. Oh, jeez. There. Boom, boom. Perfect. Except for this. This is less than perfect. 
and evil. Did I do this all correct? Did I make some terrible, stupid, stupid mistake? Maybe. Uh, so from here, we leave it building up for 42 hours. Absurdly long time. Last time I was cutting out as soon as I'd gone up three orders of magnitude, but that was probably a mistake. I'm gonna... God, it's so slow. I'm gonna try letting it run for the full 42 this time around and see if that gets me a better result. I think... I think maybe that's correct. Hmm... I'm going to want to double check everything and make sure everything is correct. I'm pretty sure, though. God, is it really this far behind? It's just, when I see it that far behind, it makes me feel like I must have done some really stupid thing. I must have clicked on the wrong thing somewhere, right? Had a brain fart. Something. Is it really supposed to be this far down? <laughs> Alright, I'll double check everything, uh, but this should be right. Well, it's pretty good. Oh, I don't know. I think I can make it all the way up in just one more. Just one more abdication. Mm, not convinced I can, actually. Well, I can give it a try. It's so weird to me to do really, really long runs like this, though. I mean, what was that? Did it say 61 hours to go on the next, uh... On the next, um... Brainwave? Yeesh. Alright, we'll just, uh... Ah! Get that, uh... Get that mana regen up. Okay. Now it's going to start way, way down. Way, 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 way down. Oh, come on. Not enough yet. How many more do I need? This must be enough. No, it's not. My impatience is getting the better of me. There it is. Okay. And chromatic scales and evil by the power of evil. Also, I need to get my researches in. They're getting harder and harder to get. See, now it's just a mere 45 hours. You don't have quite the same. We haven't been running for days either. But I wonder. Hmm. If I were to export an import to reset this. Okay. Here's my thinking. If I leave this running for like an hour, then I export import to reset the spells. I could take a, I could have a longer duration on the brainwave, a larger max duration, which would help. Which should help, <laughs> I think. This may be, and oh my gosh, does it take a long time to build up? <laughs> uh, starting from rock bottom. Wait, since when is E 121 anything count as rock bottom. Ah, whatever. Idle games will eventually warp your perceptions of what is a big number and what is not. At one point in time, I considered a hundred to be a big number. Of course, I was a lot younger back then. Very good then. 
All right, let's see if we can do better than 45 hours. Export. Import. Come on. Export. Yes, save to clipboard. Import. There. 11 hour boost. Boom. <clears throat> so. I figure with 11 more hours uh, to build up its uh, bonus, that'll help me get to where I need to go. At least, that's the plan. This is still a long way off from uh, where we need to be to even get moving, to even get this caboose a-rolling. So here we are, at the precipice leading to our next ascension with a 100% mana regen bonus thrown in for bo to, to boot. This would have been, I would have gotten to this sooner, but I had to reset my computer and that reset the brainwave and uh, I, I ended up taking more time than it should have. But anyway, I could continue letting this power for 40 hours and go up multiple additional additional um just 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 so many more gems and then i could use all of those gems the smart thing to do would be to use all that to power into higher levels of lineages uh i could probably get to a significantly higher lineage level that would be the smart thing to do that's not what i'm doing though I'm checking out my next ascension. Ascending will reset all progress a reincarnation would is, would reset. It will not reset your reincarnation set count. And then we'll revert back to reincarnate button for reincarnation 101 with new prerequisites. With new prerequisites, let me guess. Gems. Not, you're not going to call suddenly... Oh, and you also have to have such and such mana regen to reincarnate or something weird. No, you're not going to do that. By ascending, you will unlock the new main currency, Emerald Coins, that will be used for post-ascension upgrades and features, resulting in much smaller numbers. All upgrades that previously cost gold or diamond will be free, and the formulas for subsequent reincarnations will change to allow continued progress. Oh, gift bonuses, scry rewards. Remember when I had scry rewards? Those were nice. Ruby bonuses, event bonuses, and gem bonuses will not be affected by the ascension reduction. The reincarnation process will reset all your stats, your excavations, and remove all your gems. You will ever keep trophies and gain a new free upgrade. Reincarnation power. Yeah, that's 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 the normal normal stuff there. Okay. What? I, I had to click it. It it lit up. You, you, things light up when you push them. That that, that that's the gameplay. Gameplay. <laughs> All right, we're done here. Oh. Of course. What was I thinking? Boom. How your realm has changed! The diamond coins have turned to emerald coins! But I still get 25,000 of them for free on start. And all upgrades, yep. Emerald coins are more rare and precious than coins. Emerald coins are more rare and precious than coins. They're a type of coin. What if? So, next time we will explore our new ones, ah, our new reincarnation. Until then, until next time, and every time, this is what the hell? Signing off. Bye.